I got a fruit tango in my mouth, but I'm gonna go with it. But it tastes good. So it's Tomo's 200th club game this weekend, Sloney. If you didn't know, I can't take you serious. You sound like you got a lisp. Uh, no, I do. Um, it's Tomo's 200th game this weekend. Yep. What, uh, what what sort of effect has he had on you at your time at this club? Well, last year he's been my weights partner. So happy 200th for the club weights partner. Um, How come you haven't got cannons like him then? Well, that's why he's my partner because oh. I'm trying to get to his uh, his physique. But look, being in the midfield, he um, I sort I think it's just he sets the example in um, like like transition when the ball gets get kicks gets kicked out of a stoppage. He's the first one to leave and yep. and get to the next contest. And um, there's lots of things I've picked up from him and um, even body work around a stoppage. He's been a really good teacher for me. Ah, good. That's a very good answer. Yeah. Um, that's our best so far, because you're first. The only one. Yeah. Pup, Tomo's 200th game, club game this weekend. What sort of effect has he had on you over the years at the club? Um, yeah, not much really. Um, I play up forward and he plays in the midfield, so I don't know sometimes he kick it to me. But so he d just doesn't speak to you. He do like a few people have mentioned that already. Doesn't speak to him much. Does he? Do you even know who he is? Well. Oh, I've heard about him. So, mate, you're at the club when Tomo came over from Melbourne. How has he changed from when he first arrived till today? Well, his, his tan's improved a little bit. He's worked on that uh, for, what, 12 or 13 summers now. So he's worked pretty hard on that. He's made that uh, first priority. But um, I had a different relationship with him then because I was a player and, um, and now I'm a runner. So I actually think he's got a lot angrier. He's always screaming at me. Um, using all sort of expletives. What's his What's his demeanour around the club, like in the change rooms that people don't see? He's very rude and loud. Yeah, yeah he likes to abuse people lots, <laughs> like verbally, not <laughs> in other ways. Um, oh, I thought verbally. you meant physically. Like. And physically, yeah, yeah. He's a bit of a bully, yeah. um, but a good bully. Sticks up for me. There have been a few negative comments about him um, over the past few interviews, but um, how would you sum him up? No, I'm a big rap for him. He's a very attractive man, and he's, he's actually quite scary too. So I'm, I'm reluctant to say anything too negative. Um, so he is, uh, he's a pretty honest sort of a guy. He's, uh, he's hard working. In the gym, he often doesn't stick to the program, which is a bit frustrating. You know, I'll give him a leg session, and I'll turn around, and he's doing some curls. And what's he like behind closed doors in the change rooms? Um, yeah, well, he's, no, he's actually pretty good. Uh, Tomo, he um, like he talks to me a bit. I have to go make the effort, but um, luckily, you know, I'd like to learn and and I'll, I'll make the effort to sort of get to know him. So um, yeah, he's, he's actually pretty good when he's actually in the changers. He spends most of the time in the gym, so um, it's good to see him when he's when he's around. He's sort of like a solar eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Once every 32 years? No, nah, they're uh, more common than that, I think. Oh. When he came in, he had the blonde tips and he had the, the long hair for a while and now he's just stock standard and gets rid of it. Is that because he's balding or has that just gone out of fashion? Good person to ask too, yeah? <laughs> nice person to ask. Yeah, I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I've had a few um, average haircuts over the years, but there's no doubt he's balding. Yeah. He's, a, he's a bald man, but uh, again, he is, he is an attractive man. He just pulls it off he nicely. Would, yeah. would, you, would you let him? Is he? If you used to have a... Uh, a, um, go on the catwalk together. Who do you reckon would get the most wolf whistles out of the tour? Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm doing the questions here. <laughs> You're answering them, but I reckon I'd have him covered. <laughs> first three words that come to mind. Um, well, probably the the obvious one would be um, muscly. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, bald. He doesn't have hair, <laughs> and that's not by choice either. Um, Starting to lose it a bit. Yeah. Um, I've got a lot of words to describe him. It's probably not too many for camera, but um, I'd probably say, nah, he's, he's a good fella. That's that's four words. He's a good fella. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, you're right. So six. Okay, right. six. Okay. Thanks for your time, mate. No you've uh, yeah, you done well there. No worries. Mate. Yeah. So he's the sort of bloke. The way you're talking about him, uh, would you let him date your daughter? That sort of guy, or no? No. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, I've, I've that's a touchy one there. All right, mate, just to finish off, I'm going to lighten it up a bit now because you look angry. You do look angry at the moment. I oh, just that thought. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't let anyone date your daughter.
Well, you or him, no. Oh, I didn't, didn't say me, but... The people, the players that I would want to date my daughter, Van Berlo, Dave McKay, um... Oh, that's probably about it from the club. So you just want them? To, you want your daughter to have a real boring life, do you? Just <laughs> sit home and read books. I just want to have rock solid, stable relationship. Okay. Yeah. He's like the cool kid at school, isn't he? he? Just bullies everyone until they start following him. Yeah, but I don't know about his clothing. He wears some strange clothes. He always wears like these tracky pants and these um yeah really tight like tops. I'm not sure about it. Tight. He doesn't spend money. No, like tight as oh. in like. Oh, He'd be shattered know. with that. Yeah. All right, thanks for your time, mate. No and, um, hey, you've been the you, best so far. You enjoyed my fruit tingle? Yeah. Oh, mate. Sure, go on. It's really tingly now, too. See ya.